names and faces of the London terror attack victims. The woman who plunged from Westminster Bridge during the London terror attack has been named as Romanian woman Andrea Christa. The architect, 29, was on holiday in London with her fiancé Andre Bernas to celebrate his birthday when the pair were mown down during the terror attack which killed two people on the busy bridge. It's thought they were heading to the London Eye when the attacker struck around 2.40 p.m. in the afternoon. The Romanian ambassador in London said she has multiple fractures with bleeding lungs. The young man is in a relatively okay because it only has a fracture in the foot, he said according to local media reports. It comes after the victims of the attack were named as Spanish teacher Shaw Freyd, 43, and Metropolitan Police Officer Keith Palmer, 48. Ms. Freyd was on her way to pick up her primary school-aged children when she was hit by the suspected terrorist as his out-of-control vehicle sped through traffic. Tributes for the 43-year-old have flooded social media. Wonderful lovely woman. We will all sadly miss you. R.I.P. Shaw, one friend wrote. Another tribute said there is a new angel in the sky, one amazing, extraordinary angel, going to miss you. R.I.P. Lovely and Wonderful Shaw. MPs and fellow policemen paid tribute to P.C. Palmer on Thursday with a minute's silence. MP James cleverly requested he received a posthumous award for bravery in an emotional parliamentary speech. A man in his 50s and the attacker also died. UK Prime Minister Theresa May said those injured include 12 Britons, 3 French children, 2 Romanians, 4 South Koreans, 1 German, 1 Polish person, 1 Irish, 1 Chinese, 1 Italian, 1 American and 2 Greeks. This is an attack on free people everywhere, she said. The injured also include three police officers returning from an event in Parliament to recognise their bravery. German woman Trish Beer, who was living in South Australia, is also among the victims injured in the London attacks. App reports the Australian permanent resident was injured and taken to hospital after her foot was run over as chaotic scenes unfolded in central London. Attorney General George Brandis told Senate Question Time that the woman was receiving treatment and consular staff were providing assistance. Foreign Minister Julie Bishop told ABC reporter Lee Sales the Australian had her foot run over and was recovering. It is believed she is originally from Germany. Australians should be reassured that our agencies are today as every day working relentlessly and tirelessly to keep our people safe, Turnbull said in Parliament. We are very alert to the vulnerabilities of places of mass gathering and open spaces and the risk of relatively unsophisticated attacks, like that perpetrated in London. Keeping Australians safe is our highest priority. It is our most solemn, our supreme obligation. Names and face of the victims of the London terror attack are beginning to be revealed as the death toll from the devastating rampage rises. Police have confirmed four people died and 29 were injured in Wednesday's fatal attack which saw pedestrians mowed down on Westminster Bridge and a police officer fatally stabbed at a security checkpoint outside the Houses of Parliament. The officer has been identified by Scotland Yard as PC Keith Palmer, a 48-year-old husband and father with 15 years of service to the police force. Metropolitan Police Counter-Terror Commissioner Mark Rowley said Mr Palmer was a member of the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command. He was someone who left for work today expecting to return home at the end of his shift and he had every right to expect that would happen, he said. In a heartfelt Facebook post, Nottinghamshire police said Mr. Palmer died today protecting the public. When many ran from danger, you went towards it, they wrote. Thank you for your service and your dedication. Friends and admirers have paid tribute to the brave officer online. A true hero, died doing what I'm sure you love doing most, protecting others. One wrote. Who would have thought that when we all woke up this morning a serving officer would become a hero and an angel by the time the day had ended, said another. Though I don't think for one moment his wife or children would ever be ready for a day like today, my thoughts are sad and mixed with anger as people tonight mourn for loved ones not coming home. Shortly after Mr. Palmer was stabbed, surrounding police shot dead his attacker. Briefing the media on the investigation into the attack. Scotland Yard officers said three police officers had been seriously injured in the attack. It remains unclear whether any were caught up in gunfire as officers moved to stop the attacker. French prosecutors have launched their own investigation over the attack in which three French schoolchildren were injured. 
The teenagers were hurt when the attacker plowed through pedestrians on Westminster Bridge. The students were from a private high school in Concarna in northwestern France, local media has reported. At least two are said to be critical. Witnesses told La Telegram newspaper one of the students has been collected by the speeding vehicle and was at one stage on the car bonnet. Family members of the students are being transported to London be with them. Reuters photographer Toby Melville recalled the moment he heard a man hit the pavement below Westminster Bridge after the car plowed through the bridge. I heard a thud, turned round and there was a man lying about 10 yards away from me, he told Reuters. There was a lot of blood coming from his head. I thought this must be a domestic or horrible accident. Mr. Melville had been taking photographs around Parliament while on assignment covering Britain's exit from the European Union. He said after he saw the man on the ground, he phoned emergency and headed towards a nearby hospital to alert doctors, and saw another injured woman. At which point I thought this looks like it's more than someone's fallen over the wall, he said. Mr. Melville said a dozen or so people appeared to be unconscious on and around the bridge. The bridge.